everyone, my name is Angela and I'm a nurse with Kicks Care. Now that school's out for summer and kids are spending more time outside, we thought it was a great time to chat about some tips and tricks related to sun safety. This is really important because exposure to sun can lead to sunburns, shivering, and fevers, and it can also cause long-term skin damage like skin cancer. So our first tip is to try and avoid being outside between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. since that's when it's the hottest. Now, when it comes to babies, babies have a much thinner, much more sensitive skin than adults, which means they can burn much more easily. So that's why our recommendation is to keep babies in the shade always. Also, it's not recommended to have sunscreen on babies under six months since they can rub it into their eyes and into their mouth. Now, as your child begins to age and grow up, you can put them in some loose fitting clothing and also a wide brim hat that covers the back of their neck. There is some clothing that offers UV protection, but if you're not using that clothing, you want to use a good sunscreen with an SPF 30 or above. You want to apply that 30 minutes before uh, any outdoor activity to let it sink in. You also want to watch out for some of the spots we see that get missed, which is the ears, the nose, the back of the neck, the back of the legs, and the tops of the feet. And then you want to keep in mind to be reapplying every two to three hours, and especially after swimming and at, after any like outdoor vigorous activity or where your kid might have been a little bit sweaty. It's also important to note that kids with darker pigmented skin still need maximum sun protection. So you want to be on the lookout for any signs of heat illness, so your child being really thirsty, feeling some leg cramps, or just really tired. You can bring them inside into a cool, shady place, offer them some small sips of water, and then if they're wearing a lot of clothing, you can remove some of that and you can fan them. You should seek medical attention if your child is under one and has a sunburn or if you're seeing signs of heat stroke, and that, that can include nausea, fever, vomiting, and general weakness. It's also important to remind teens and young adolescents to avoid sunbathing as, and tanning beds as those are really high risk activities. And the best way to do that is to role model sun safety yourself. If you have any other questions or concerns and you wanna to speak to an experienced pediatric nurse, you can visit kickscare.com.